In this video, I'll show you how to add dark mode to your WordPress website. So when your visitors visit your website, they can click a toggle to turn dark mode on or off. And even better, I'll show you how to customize the colors of elements once the dark mode is toggled. Hey, my name is Karthik. I'm a web developer and the founder of WPAlgorithm.com. On Design School by WP Algorithm, I make step-by-step -step WordPress and Elementor tutorials to help beginners build amazing WordPress websites. If you're a beginner or if you want to learn how to build amazing WordPress websites, you're in the right place. Subscribe and let's get started with tutorial. It's a lot of fun. So the first thing that you need to do is to log into your WordPress website. So once you're in the WordPress dashboard, click on plugins and click on add new either here or I'll just click on add new here. And the plugin that you need to install for this tutorial is called WP Dark Mode. So just type WP Dark Mode and you'll find the plugin right away. And it's this one by WP Pool. So click on install now. And once the plugin is done installing, you have to activate the plugin, obviously. Now my plugin is installed. I can simply click on activate. And just like that, the plugin is activated. Now you can click on the WordPress dashboard entry. So once you install this plugin, it gives you the dashboard entry to pick various options. So you can enable dark mode on front end. So which is basically the part of your website where visitors come and see. You can enable back in dark mode. So in your WordPress admin, you can either toggle this on and off. As of now, you can see that it's enabled. So I can turn off dark mode even on my backend, which is my dashboard. You can also turn on OS aware dark mode. So if your operating system has a dark mode turned on, this will detect that and switch your website to that particular mode, which is really cool. And it applies to Windows, Mac OS, iOS and all that stuff. And under advanced settings, you can pick some animations. You can make dark mode default and the colored setting. Well, this one by default for free version, you can pick two of these. But if you want to customize the colors of the elements, you can either upgrade to the pro version or I'll show you how to do it really easy using custom CSS. But we'll get to that in a bit. So you can show this floating switch on the front end, which is basically how your users will see. You can pick which style of the switch you want on the front end. So you can see that here, right? I'll just pick this toggle and I'll click on save changes once I'm done customizing the website. Now, if I visit the site, you can see that there's a floating toggle onto the right corner of my website. Simply click that and that enables dark mode on the page, whichever page that is. You can see that before turning on dark mode, my footer was of this background even the sub footer or the footer below that. Once I turn that on, the text color is changed. The links colors are changed. And even within these sections, it's the same, right? The text color is changed. The link color is changed from the pink color to the blue color. We can totally customize it. We can make it our own. I'll show you that in a bit. So basically, if you want to enable it in your header, there is an easier way to do that. So if you have Elementor Pro installed and you've made your custom header using Elementor Pro's theme builder, you can simply use this dark mode switch. Under basic, you'll find a new widget called dark mode switch. Simply click and drag that and you can pick the appearance of the toggle. You can also align it. I'll just align it onto the right. I'll update this. So this is my header. You can put it anywhere you want in your Elementor interface, but if you have Elementor Pro, you can include it in your header, similar to what most of the websites are doing. Now I can simply disable this floating switch because I already have one in the header. So I'll just disable floating switch. I'll click on save settings. Now, if I visit my site, we have the toggle here and we don't have the toggle switch here. So I can simply click that to turn dark mode on or off. 
and it's there within my header. So this is really cool. And what if I want to change the colors of the elements once the dark mode is enabled? It's quite simple. And we're going to basically write custom CSS. And if you don't want to learn the code, how it works, you can simply go to wpalgorithm.com. There'll be a link in the description. So you can just go copy the code and just change the color values. That will do the job. But here's the technical explanation of how it's going to work. Don't worry, even if you don't understand a bit, it's totally fine. Go copy the code snippet and just change a few values. I'll show you that in a bit. But for now, let's right click and inspect element and see what's happening when we are turning on this toggle. So when I click on this, you can see that there's a change in the class of HTML element, right? The one highlighted in blue. I'll click this toggle again. Now it says WP dark mode inactive. I'll click this. It says WP dark mode active. So basically this plugin is using this class to target the elements and change their colors. And you can see that here, right? The whole CSS is here. I can simply click and copy the whole CSS from here so that we can customize all of them. I'll copy it here. Now I need to click on customize. I'll click on additional CSS. You can put this in your theme or if you have Elementor, you can also put it in your theme styles, but I'll just put it in the customizer area of my theme. So this is the default settings. Let's try changing some of the links. Again, this whole snippet will be in the article that I link in the description from wpalgorithm.com. You can just copy the code and modify it. Anyway, now the links are blue in color, right? So we'll change this value, which says WP dark mode link. I'll just, let's say I just change it to red. And just like that, you see the, all the links are now changed to red color. Even this one is changed to red color, right? You can punch in your hex code. You can use uh, English value such as this one. You can use RGB value. Any value is totally fine. Let me turn this off and that is gone, right? Let me change this to pink. Let me turn on dark mode toggle and now all the links are changed to pink color, right? The same applies to the text as well. So if I change this to blue for some reason, the text is changed to blue when the dark mode is toggled on. All of the text, right? All the text on my website when the dark mode is toggled on will be changed to blue, but I don't want that. I think the previous color looked good. So I'm going to settle with this. The same thing with background. You can change this background to any color. So if I change it to blue, just like that, when the dark mode is toggled, instead of the dark color, you'll have whichever color that you like. You can also have a red color or you can have purple color, right? Anything is totally fine. As long as the dark mode is active, this color will be applied to every element background, right? Again, click this and the background is gone. Now, what if I want to do something extra? What if I want to dim the images, right? Usually you use dark mode to dim elements. What if I want to change the brightness of the element or the image, right? How do I do that? Well, it's the same thing. You copy this class name, paste it, and you just enter space IMG. Again, the code will be in the article on wpalgorithm.com. Don't worry about the code. Just think and see the method. Now there's something called CSS filters that can alter your images, right? So there are tons of CSS filters. You can see all of these are CSS filters. You basically target the element and you enter this value. Now I'll use this brightness filter and I'll reduce the brightness. You can see that the brightness is now changed to 0.4. Let's change that to maybe around 0.8, right? So initially I had this brightness. After toggling this on, even the images are dimmed. You can apply other filters as well. So along with brightness, you can use other image filters. 
and not just image filters you can use anything else i'll use grayscale filter instead of the brightness filter i'll remove this paste grayscale right now let's try with the grayscale filter on and all the images they lose their color as you can see there right let's also try applying a blur filter so what this code essentially means is that when the dark mode is active apply these properties to all my images on my website i'll apply a blur of maybe i'll say one pixel you can see that here so when the dark mode is off no blur no grayscale effect when the dark mode is on these are the properties and not just for the images you can apply the properties to anything else so if you want to style your links you can do that totally again you use the same code except instead of img you'll say a which stands for link and let's make font size bit bigger let's see that now so all the links right you can see the font size increases when the dark mode is toggled on you can apply basically any properties like i said you can target when the dark mode is active and target any of the element but i think you usually want to target the images since all of the properties are covered here you usually wouldn't go for other properties and in case you want to target any other element just put the first code separated by space and enter the html tag or the class name of the element that you want to modify and then just apply your css properties but i think this minimal css code will let us achieve any custom effect right simple just copy the code and paste it change the values this one is for images the second code snippet is for images right you're basically applying some css filters to the images let's also add a border to the image purple to blue see that now you can see the border of the images it is applied to each and every image but if you want to target specific images you have to mention their class name so that only those images are targeted and these properties are applied to those images you can see the dark mode is also applied to the images within the dark mode toggle itself and even for our logo so that's pretty much it for now right i think this would do i'll leave this code or link to the article having this code snippet you can get it from wpalgorithm.com and again the plugin name is wp dark mode so all you got to do is to get the code from the description go to appearance click on customize in your dashboard right and wherever there's something called css custom css or additional css just paste the code and that will be available for you or if you have elementor if you're using elementor theme styles you can also paste it in elementor theme styles so if i hover over this if i click on site settings you can paste the custom css code even here not a problem so from any page you can reach this custom css page click that and copy the code here and this bg stands for background text stands for text when the dark mode is active link stands for all the links when the dark mode is active and border it's self explanatory btn is actually a button and these are some additional code that we wrote if you want to target any other element use the same first class html dot wp dark mode active space and then use the class name of the image that you are trying to target and then apply any properties within that but this is it for now just copy this the first properties for background text link border and so on if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you don't have a website yet and or if your current website hosting is horrible check this video at the top and if you want to learn more awesome things like this check this playlist at the bottom i'll see you in the next one until then keep watching keep practicing peace